everybody. It's Dardine again from Cranky Crow and today I am here talking to you about painting trees. Now perhaps you've already seen our other video on using tape to paint this kind of a tree or maybe you've seen some of our pictures online and this isn't really your thing. Maybe instead you'd like to have a more realistic looking tree rather than this modern kind of sharp edge tree. So the purpose of today's video is to show you how to start with this, since this is the easiest kind of tree if you're not a painter, and then how to take this and convert it into a more natural looking tree. So first, before we do that, um, I want to just draw your attention over here for a second. And you notice the blending in here. There's a variety of colors. So what we're going to do is we'll be starting with the base color of the tree, and then we'll be going into all these other different tones. But before we get into this part, we also need to talk about materials. So we're going to switch now and look down here. And you can see I've got all kinds of things set up. Now, you may or may not be familiar with these. You can get these little trays at art stores. You can get them in four or six pots. They're very popular with art teachers and I keep a few of these on hand when I'm doing stuff at a wall because you're standing with lots of different colors and if you don't have this that's fine just have a bunch of little a little pot, bunch of pots or sometimes you can use styrofoam egg cartons that's another good thing when you have to have more than a couple of colors I've got some palette paper this of course is waxy paper that I could also use but you can see that my paints are quite watery. This is the base color. Now this was actually a wall paint. This was not tubed acrylic. So when we did our wall uh, initially and we taped it all and we rolled the tree, this was it. This kind of very boring bland brown color. And these are some of the colors I'm going to add. Now I had all these tubed acrylics and I actually watered down the white a little bit because it was quite thick and the same with this this is this is a burnt sienna now you can use burnt sienna you can use mars yellow there's a couple of things that give you roughly this color uh, and burnt umber is my all-time favorite brown because it's such a beautiful warm dark dark brown so by the time i add these to this it's really going to improve the colors um, i'm keeping my yellow ochre on hand because that's going to warm it up and I might add a little bit, I might not, I'm just going to see how it goes. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to use this brush to start with. I would recommend either this one or something like this, but use a square brush and make sure it's pretty soft. This is going to be to, to change your shape of your tree. I've got these other brushes just on hand. I've got a thicker one in case I want a thicker one to blend. And the same thing here, this one's pretty thick. Not even sure that I'll use a little detail brush, but I might. So having said that, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to very carefully pick up my little paint tray and then I'm going to come back over here to my tree. Now you have to remember with the shape of the tree, of course, it's going from wider at the bottom and it tapers all the way up. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use my brown and I could get on a ladder and start at the top. I probably would, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to start in the middle. And all I'm doing is I'm just softening the line and that's it. And you can see already, with that hard edge gone, it's already starting to look a little more natural. Now for this video, I'm just going to be focusing on this branch today. So that you don't have to watch me redo every single line. But what I would do if I were at home and I were doing this, I would do my whole tree and then I would wait until it was dry to make sure that I was happy with the shape because I might stand back when I'm done 
and I might actually decide I want to add more branches at this point or maybe some of the branches still look a little too narrow or a little bit too wide whatever I've done with them okay now you can see I haven't been painting the whole thing and this is messy so I want to get a clean edge so I come back over here there we go I was starting to go out and I have to remember right my branch is supposed to be getting thin in the end so again I don't want to do anything later I'm going to take a little tiny brush and I'm actually going to do little twiggy things down here before I start adding my leaves so let's go up here now just soften that okay great now wet paint usually and in this case looks lighter than dry paint and that's fine I know it's going to dry darker all right so oops that got a little bit fatter than I wanted that's okay so now let's say I've done my whole tree and I'm happy with the shape and now I want to start actually putting my shading in so here I go I got my base coat and I am going to coat the whole thing I'm just going to do one section at a time my base coat is what I'm blending with so I want to show this shape so let's go like this nice and wet oh and this is fun I get really excited about this I take my burnt umber and I'm pretty messy I go all over the place start blending. I'm just using my brush to blend with and I want it to wrap around. So I'm following my line. Isn't that cool? It's so much fun. I absolutely love doing this. So I'm going to come up here too. You can see I'm making my burnt umber kind of as my outline in a way and then I'm going to take that now when this is dry I can go back over it and add whatever colors I want so right now I'm not too worried about whether or not it looks perfect I'm not going to worry about that at all but you can see I'm trying to make it very tree-like at this point and I'm just going to go a little higher before I switch colors Let's just add a little bit. I've gone back to my base color. Let's go back to that burnt umber. There. Okay, we got a little bit more down here. And if it does look a little bit messy, I can take a small brush later clean it up. I want to really emphasize this little edgy bit, corner bit going around. So let me go like that. Ooh, that was a fun one. I'm standing back and looking. Okay, I'm going to start adding a little bit of my burnt sienna and I'm only going to add a little bit to begin with. So I take a little bit on my brush you notice I'm not cleaning my brush in between at all. That wouldn't be much fun. So I'm just going to start adding some. Ooh, isn't that fun? Now, I don't want to really start blending it too much because it might start looking like a little bit of a mess. This is really just to highlight some of the colors that you would see in a tree. Now at this point I could add a little bit of white 
And truth be known, I'm very happy with this. I don't think I would add white and I probably wouldn't add yellow ochre. But just to show you, I am going to add a little bit of white so you can see what happens because that might be something you want to do. Start with white sparingly. So again, even though I say white, it's immediately turning into light brown or light ready brown or whatever you want. And I'm going to come up here. Now, I use white for highlight. I don't use it a lot for anything else. Doing that, I'm coming up. And I'm going to just emphasize, I'm not going to come to the edge. I'm going to come to the side and go down. Okay. And let's just, ah, there we go. And spread it out a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to stand back for a second just see what I like and what I don't like. Hmm, not bad. Now, later I'm going to be adding some leaves and I'm already thinking about more branches. So, you know, you could do this later on if you were a little bit nervous. You could definitely do it just with a little bit of chalk or a little bit of pencil to see if you like it. But I'm pretty confident with what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do, I don't want branches starting from the same place, but I'm going to have a branch. And out I go. Ooh, that's fun. And later I can take a small brush and I can refine those little twiggy ends. And you notice, of course, that I'm trying to make it look thicker. And branches usually have kind of a little U. So I've put my little branch in and I want to shade it a little bit. I want to emphasize it. So I go back to my, my burnt umber, my nice dark color. Come back here. Now, I may need to switch to my smaller brush, but I think I'm okay. If I really wanted to get detailed, I would. Okay, so there you have the basics. And I think what I'm going to do now is we are going to pause, and I am going to continue filling in my tree. And when I come back, you'll see that I've made a lot more progress.